Hi, I'm Cliff, and this is my garage. Today, we're finally going to paint the last wall here in the garage and go over how you shut down and store the Graco Magnum X7 Airless Paint Sprayer. <music> Welcome back to the garage. And if this is your first time joining me, thanks for dropping by. So this is my Graco Magnum X7 airless paint sprayer. And it's a pretty nice unit. I bought it a few months ago. This is part two of my series on this sprayer. If you're looking for part one, a suggested video link is gonna pop up up there somewhere. In part one, I talk about why I bought the sprayer, how I bought it, and walk you through the setup of getting it ready to spray. The reason I bought it is because I tried spraying with an HVLP sprayer, spraying the walls here in the garage. That was a total failure. If you'd like to see that fiasco, uh, another suggested video link is gonna pop up up there and you can go check that out. But this is part two where I'm gonna finish up spraying the walls here in the garage and then walk you through how you shut down and get this thing ready for storage. I've been using the sprayer on and off over the last few months, spraying in here and a couple other jobs. And over that time, I've really come to like it. It's a really good little machine and I've done a lot with it. I've actually added a lot of mods to it, but I've taken those mods off for this video so that you can see the base sprayer in action the way that you would get it from the store. I'll probably do a third video fairly soon that goes over the various mods that I've done and these mods make it easier to use, make it perform a little better, and also make it easier to set up and shut down. I've been putting off painting this last wall for a while now because it's a big pain in the butt because I had to go along and mask off all the stuff on this wall, the doors, the lift mechanisms, the lift electronics and everything. What made the job tremendously easier is this, which is a 3M hand masker. I, this thing, I don't remember the price off the top of my head. I'm thinking it's around 40 or $50. Even for just one job like this, man, this thing is well worth the money. It makes it so simple to mask stuff off. And you saw a little bit of me in the opening intro doing the masking on this thing. Trust me, if you're gonna be painting any amount at all, this is a tool you really want to get. One of the coolest things about it is that I'm using it with plain paper, but you can also get a plastic film that's folded like an accordion. So you pull it out and you cut it off, you stick it there, and then you unfold the plastic. And it can be like, uh, I don't know, four, six, maybe even, I think even eight feet long. And so you could mask off this whole door pretty much in just one shot. Uh, it's a little bit pricey for the film, but not bad at all. And boy, does it make a difference in masking off big areas. As always, with any tools that I'm using, there'll be a link down in the description of the video that will send you to Amazon where you can buy it right there. Now, I've already got the sprayer all put together, primed, and ready to go. So let's get started. Well, I forgot to press the record button on the first segment. Uh, so let me just repeat everything I said there. There's a lot of overspray when using an airless sprayer, and so you definitely want to wear some kind of a mask or respirator to keep all that stuff out of your lungs. It's a little tough to get up underneath this lip of this plywood. Yeah, I gotta work at getting the uh, the paint around the back side of this bar, but it's not bad. And ultimately, it's a garage.
That is miserable working in a mask. All done. I mean, it literally took me 10 times as long to mask everything off as it did to spray it. That's how quickly this thing works. It's just, it's a great invention. Okay, so we're all set to do our cleanup. I've got the paint sprayer here, I've got my waste bucket, and I've got my bucket of water. I've also got a garden hose, and I've installed the valve that comes with the sprayer. Now, I use a nicer version of this valve on all my hoses. It's super handy to have, and I'll give you a link to uh, them on Amazon in the description below the video. But for right now, I've just installed the one that comes with the sprayer. I'll also put on some gloves because this process is really a messy one. Start off by making sure the power is off. Then we're gonna remove the tip and guard and just throw those in the water. I'm gonna take and set the valve to prime. As you can see, the paint start running out. Let's let this tube drain. And here comes the really messy part. It's getting this tube out and drained. Just kind of get that off of there. Go ahead and remove the tip. Whoa, be careful not to sling paint everywhere like I just did. You take the tip and then also just, whew, maybe not throw it in the water like that, but put it in the water. And then also turn this paint off and then swap the buckets. All right, let's use the hose to uh, clean these off good. I've attached a suction hose to the garden hose. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the valve and just use the water pressure from the hose to push water through the pump to flush it out and also to flush out the drain tube here. Okay. And we do this for about 30 seconds or so or until the water is coming out clear. Okay, you just kind of put some in your hand there. You can see it's still a very milky white color. Okay, that looks pretty good. This still looks a little white, but that's mainly because there's a lot of bubbles in the water here. This is very aerated water we're getting here in the shop. Yeah, that's actually clear. So that's good right there. Turn the water off. So now we need to drain the paint out of the line and then the gun. And we don't want to just waste it. So what we're going to do is we're going to point the gun into the paint bucket. We're going to change the position to spray. Turn the water back on. And we're going to turn the pump on so that we build up pressure. And now we're going to point the gun into the paint bucket. And we're going to just carefully press the trigger until we start seeing watery paint come out. Whoa. Again, you can stick your finger, your hand down there. I still get paint. Ugh, this is an almost full paint bucket makes this difficult. Okay, now we're getting watery paint. The instructions say that you're supposed to be taking this and holding it down and then quickly transfer it over to this bucket when you see the watery paint come through. And that's really awfully messy and what I found is the reason is because if I now take and I point this in here and I pull the trigger I'm going to get a huge burst of pressure and stuff's going to go flying everywhere but if you just use one finger on here and carefully feather the trigger you can release the pressure in here and not make a huge mess. Rinse my hand off in this semi-clean water. Let me move the paint bucket out of the way. All right, now we're going to turn the power off. So all we're going to use here is um, water pressure from the hose. Okay, I messed up here. 
actually you leave the power on and use the pump to push the water through the line then turn the power off after the water starts coming out clean and now we're going to carefully feather this off and release the pressure okay and now we keep going again until we see clear water coming out no paint in it just squirting a little in my hand I see the water is now clear and we're uh, we're ready to go this is all flushed out now and we can proceed Turn the water pressure off, drain what pressure is on the line, and disconnect the hose. And give these one last good squirt to clean them off. So the last thing we want to do is protect our pump. Right now it's full of water and that wouldn't be good if we left it that way because it would, well, basically rust up and seize up. So we're going to use some of this Graco, uh, let's see, pump armor. And we need to put about two ounces into the hose here. And what this does is it basically coats and lubricates the, uh, the pump itself, the piston and everything, and protects it against corrosion. So I've got, this is an eight ounce bottle. I've used about four ounces, so I need to put about half of what's left in here. And we're gonna just put it into the tube here. Let's see. And a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Now that the pump arbor is in there, we're going to change the switch back to prime so that it pulls it in into the pump and directly out the drain tube again. And we're going to turn on the pump until we see the pump arbor coming out of the drain tube. Should be pretty quick. Okay, that was it. And we push the prime valve down to spray again so that it seals off the chamber. And we'll just let this sit here and drain any excess pump armor back into the waste bucket. While we're waiting for those to drain, let's reach in there, find the strainer tip, use the hose to rinse all the pain off of it. Also find the tip and guard, wash those off. Remove the tip. Don't forget to get the the washer, the seal out of there. A little cleaning brush like this is great for pushing that out of there and for cleaning the gun in general. These tubes out of here. There we go. We're all cleaned up. We've got our pump armor in there protecting the pump. We're ready to put this in storage. Well, I think that looks pretty good. Not perfect by any means, but you know, then again, it's a garage, so this will be fine. Uh, like I said, I've been using this Graco Magnum X7 airless sprayer for a few months now, on and off on various jobs. I've been super happy with it. For a do-it-yourselfer like me, this thing is perfect. Now, if you're a pro painting eight hours a day every day, you're gonna wear this thing out fast. But for, like I said, your, your handyman that needs to do painting, you wanna do it quick and easy, this is your machine. Now, as I said in the last video, I got my sprayer at Home Depot because they had a special sale going on. And if it hadn't been for that sale though, the cheapest price would have been at amazon.com. And I've given you a link in the video description down below to take you to the listing for this airless sprayer. Now, the thing about those links is if you use them and you buy the sprayer or anything else, Amazon gives me a little tiny cut of their profit. It doesn't change your price at all, but when you buy it, like I said, Amazon gives a, I mean a really tiny cut of their profit. It's not much, but it gets funneled back into the channel, helps me buy new equipment, supplies or projects, things like that. So if you're thinking about buying the sprayer or anything else really, especially if it's something kind of expensive, please use the link and that way you'll be helping to fund the channel just a little tiny bit. And speaking of the channel, of course, we now have over a thousand subscribers. I think we're actually almost to 1100 now. Thank you so much. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, we still want subscribers. We still want to grow the channel. So please 
think about going down there, clicking on that subscribe button, and uh, letting YouTube know that you really like the stuff I'm doing. Also, to help feed YouTube's algorithm and help them recommend me to other people, please go down there and click on the thumbs up button and give us a like on this video. And finally, once you subscribe, Go ahead and turn on notifications, the little bell icon. That way, YouTube will let you know every time that I post a new video from here in Cliff's Garage. I'll see you next time.